Hello, this is Kuhn from Educational and this is Video Tutorial 1 from Excel Basics. In this tutorial we are going to learn you how to use Excel 2003, the basic functions. In this video tutorial, lesson 1 of many to come of course, we are going to discuss the general workflow of Excel how you can use cells, what they are. Furthermore, we're going to discuss some uh, formatting and uh, some conditional formatting too. I'm going to show you how to resize columns and rows, do things faster with shortcuts, and we're going to show you how to put information in cells, just the basics so you know. When you start Excel for the first time, you see this screen. You see the giant worksheet. This is called a sheet, and beneath the sheet, you see, you see tabs where you can switch between workflows. If you're working on a very big project, that can come in handy. At the top, we see just all those menu options and toolbars if you're familiar with other programs like Microsoft Word or Microsoft PowerPoint it's just all the same you know font font size bold italic etc etc on the right side of the screen we see a sidebar with some quick options like search and open recent documents well that's about it about the interface of Excel but let's see what uh, Excel actually is. Excel is a spreadsheet program. Um, Excel is nothing but, but uh, one giant graphical calculator. Um, it's easy for you and for people around you to make presentations in these environments um, of annual revenues or your personal finance or anything else that involves numbers or graphs. Um, all these tiny cells you see here, that's your working stage. You can select them, you can type things into them, etc. So that's about what Excel is actually. It's, um, it's one big calculator. Now one thing you need to remember when we're discussing things about Excel is that when I refer to columns I mean this and I, when I refer to rows I mean these. These are rows and these are columns. So when I say go to column C row 6 that's me, that means that this cell. I may also refer to it as C6. Now I forgot to say one thing though um, about the workflow of Excel. Um, there's one toolbar here at the top, and that's called the formula bar, or the f yeah, yeah, the formula bar. And uh, the formula bar is used to type in formulas, but we're not onto that yet. But it's also used to type in text in a particular cell. I'm going to go there in a minute, but uh, just remember that if you ever want to type something into a cell, you go to the formula bar and you can type right away. As you can see, I'm doing right now. Another thing you'll see me doing quite often is using the right mouse button. If I go stand on a cell and I click my right mouse button, I get a context menu. Now this is called a context menu because the context is important to the functions that are available in that menu. If I click on a cell that is filled with text, I will get another, a different context menu than when I click on a cell that's not filled with text. Or when I click on a graph, I will get another context menu that's different from the one you saw just the other second. So that's about context menus and the right mouse button. Uh, always check the right mouse button if you want to do something on a cell. Great chances 
are that uh, your action you want to do is in that const context menu. Now we're at it. Um, let's talk about a little more about what we can do with the mouse. The mouse is a very important instrument in such a complex program as Excel. Um, we can do vit virtually everything with the mouse. Of course, a lot with keyboard shortcuts too, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, if you want to select a single cell, that's just one click with the left mouse button. If you want to select a range of cells, we just apply a drag command with the mouse. If you're not familiar with the drag command with the mouse, I suggest you follow a general computer lesson in which it will be explained to you. If you want to select one single column, you saw me do that just the other second, that's just one click on the column letter. In this case, I selected the whole C column. Now, the advantage of this is that I selected all the cells in C column, no matter how many information I have in that particular column, I have it selected. So, that's about selecting multiple cells. Um, the same is for rows. I can just click on the number of the row to select all the whole row, no matter how far I go to the right every cell in that row is selected can come in handy extremely often um, the whole worksheet the whole sheet you're working on can be selected by going to the upper left corner and click the cell that's with nothing in it no column letter or no um, row number and you see the whole worksheet is selected now if I go to oh oops if I go to the right or I go down I see that no matter where I go everything is selected so that's about selecting things and how we use the mouse in Excel 2003 now there are some other interesting things that you might want to know um, on the keyboard there are several keys that can help you with selecting complex um, cell patterns. If we hold down the control key and we click on a cell we can see that you can select cells that are not directly linked to each other, not directly neighbors of each other. So you can do whatever you want to do on virtually any cell group or any cell selection you make with control. Another click on the cell makes it makes the selection go away. One click on a cell that isn't selected and not holding your control key will deselect every cell. So you have to let go of the control key to deselect everything. Um, another thing is shift key, the shift key. If you want to select a group of cells, you just click the first cell without the shift key. That's your starting point of your selection. And you go to the cell you uh, want to end the selection. And there it is. You can select instantly a rectangle or some other figure just with a click of the mouse holding the shift key again when we want to deselect just click on the cell that's not in the selection and release the shift key 